Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card is for the November Snowflake Challenge. I'm going to be using this stunning Snowflakes background by Hero Arts and this Merry and Bright Sentiment set by Ellen Hudson, which released last year. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Snowflake stamp and ink it up with some Versamark ink. I've got some Ranger watercolor paper here and I'm using it because it's very white. Um, you could use a, a snowflake set where you stamp all the snowflakes randomly if you don't have a snowflake background stamp. This just saves a lot of time if you can do them all at once. So I always do my background stamps upside down, the ones that are wood mounted, and I just get good coverage that way. I'm going to be using the WOW Sparkling Snow Embossing Powder. I use this a ton during Christmas. It just makes for great snow. So I'm going to sprinkle this whole thing and then I'll do both sides and then I'll heat it to set it. So I have white snowflakes on white cardstock and uh, I'm going to be doing some resist here. And I always heat the back of the paper to kind of help with the warping a little bit. So I'm going to be also creating snowflakes with this incredible white mask frisket. Um, it's a masking fluid and I think mine, I've had mine for a couple of years and it's starting to thicken up a little bit. I think it's getting a little old. Um, but what all you do is take a brush, put some on and then tap it. Just tap it onto your cardstock. Now I'm going to be doing a lot of tapping because I want this to be full of snowflakes. I want it to basically be a snow blizzard. Uh, I'm only going to be adding watercolor to the center of my cardstock. So um, all of the masking fluid that falls outside of my watercolor area is, is just going to be rubbed off without any effect. So I just want to make sure I get as much as possible in the center of my cardstock. So I'm just going to keep working on this. I'm going to have some big snowflakes, some small dots, um, and then once I rub it off at the end, it's going to look really good. Okay, so now I'm going to cover that up and we, you really need to wash your brush uh, fairly quickly after that. You'll see uh, all of the masking fluid that's dropped down in my cardstock and I have a dedicated brush just for this masking fluid. Okay, so I've got some Merry and Bright. These words come in the Merry and Bright set by Ellen Hudson. I'm going to cut those out of black cardstock and then I'll just pop out the little pieces with my paper piercer. And so I'll put those off to the side and I'll start working on my watercolor. Now I have this big ginormous thick brush that I love to use and I've got three colors of Distress ink. So um, I'm just kind of going back to basics here with watercoloring with my Distress inks instead of all these made for watercoloring tools. And I'm just going to take this big brush. I've got Dusty Concord at the top. I have Salty Ocean in the middle and Evergreen Bow at the bottom. But before I apply any color, I'm going to uh, color in with water, just water here, uh, a rectangle in the center of my cardstock. And this is just sort of prepping my paper for color so that it blends really easily and just the colors flow into each other and I don't have any like swipes of color. It all blend nicely. Alright, so I'm going to start at the bottom with my evergreen bow and you can see that as I drop the color in, it just starts to spread automatically. These inks are great for watercoloring, you don't need special tools. And so I'm just going to drop this in on the bottom third of the rectangle that I drew. And it is a little hard to see the rectangle because it's, you know, just painted on in water. So just kind of estimate where it ends and you can extend your water line or, you know, make it smaller. You don't have to go all the way out to the edge. But just basically color in the bottom portion with as much color as you want. You can use less color, more color. Um, I went in there and dropped some additional color in later, but I'm just trying to get a base coat. Now this is Salty Ocean and I'm just going to do the next third up with the Salty Ocean and I'm just going to barely touch the two colors together. And once I have my blue laid down, you can see here I'm just going to take water. I'm going to take the tip of my brush, I'm just going to dot the line of those two colors where they meet with water. And then I wanted some more water effects throughout the colored area, so I'm just dropping here and there color. It just creates kind of a nice textured uh, look to your watercolor. And then finally, I'm going to pull my Dusty Concord and I'm going to paint the top third. And you can see how vibrant these colors are. You know, a lot of times the Distress ink will fade a little bit, but if you use a lot of color and not that much water, then you'll get a really nice vibrant look. And so now that I've laid down all my Dusty Concord, I'm going to do that same thing where the two colors meet and I'm just going to dab some water in between to get those two colors blending with each other. And then uh, I went back in and added some more water spots to the Dusty Concord. 
And you know, it's always really hard to figure out when to stop your watercolor. So I actually went in here and I'm speeding it up and just fixed it a little bit, added a little bit more of the evergreen bow to the bottom, dropped a little bit more color here and there so I would have darker spots and lighter spots, and then grabbed my water and just dropped some water so that the color would kind of pool to the edges and create a dark edge. You can see there's sort of, you can especially see it in the upper left, that dark edge. So I let that completely dry and then I can take off my masking fluid which is really easy to take off. You just rub it with your finger and it comes right off. And where I had the masking fluid on the white cardstock it just rubbed off with no effect. So I have the, these really cool sparkly snowflakes that extend from the watercolor panel out to the white panel. Next, I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm going to hold my words with a pair of tweezers and take my two-way glue pen and dot the back of it and then I'll place it exactly where I want it on the card. So I'm going to kind of have it hanging off this watercolor piece. And then I'll take the Mary and the Anne and do the same thing. This two-way glue pen really dries quickly so you just have to press it down and it'll stick. Now I'm going to take my ATG and I'm going to put a bunch of tape runner on the back. Uh, this watercolor paper is pretty thick, it's the Ranger, and uh, I find that if you kind of bend it a little bit with your fingers, it'll unwarp uh, just, a, just a little bit more just to help with that. And uh, then I'll put this on a piece of black folded note cards by Hero Arts. They're white on the inside so you don't have to worry about adding another white piece in the center. And then I'll use my Misty to line up on the left edge. So I just have black showing on the left and the right sides of this card. And so as long as I line them up on the left edge, I should get a completely straight card. And that's it. So that is the card for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I really loved how these snowflakes are on white on white in addition to having the watercolor in the middle. And I like those colors together too. They're some of my favorites. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.